Do you want to know how to do the perfect crunch or sit up? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to be sharing my top tips on how to do it coming up. Hey, before I get into the tips today, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post a new workout video or trainer tip. Hey, my name is Jenny J. I'm an online health and fitness coach whose mission is to help you get fit so that you can live a healthy, happy, and confident life. And in this video, I'm going to give you my top tips on how to do the perfect crunch or sit up. This is something that people ask me every single day on social media, and I'm going to give you the trainer secrets on how to do it perfectly. So if you're having any neck pain or you don't feel like you're doing it right, you're going to learn the exact way to do it and how to do it properly so that you can slay those workouts. Now, before I dive into the demo today, make sure to go to the link in my bio and grab the five day jumpstart plan that I've just launched and created for you. This is a plan for brand new people who are just getting started on their fitness journey. Or if you need a plan and feel like you're on a workout rut and you're confused and don't know where to start or how to get accountability and support on your fitness journey, this is definitely something that you're going to want to grab for a limited time. It is 50% off. So definitely go ahead and check out my five day jumpstart plan in the link in the description below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey, it's Jenny J here. And today you are going to learn how to do the perfect crunch or sit up. If you have any neck issues or don't feel like it's working or just want to know how to do it perfectly from a personal trainer and group fitness instructor, I'm going to share my top tips with you in this video. So let's go ahead and go into our crunch position. We'll start with a crunch first and then we'll go into a sit up. For your crunch, you wanna make sure that you start with your knees bent, your back is nice and flat. Now the biggest common mistake that people have when they're doing their crunches is what they're doing is they're literally grabbing their head and pulling it and then not even using their abs. So this is literally creating your neck pain every single time you're doing your crunch. So rather than using your hands to pull yourself up to do the crunch, you want to do this instead. The hands come behind the head, the elbows come wide, chin is off your chest, and then you're gonna use your abs to focus on lifting the shoulder blades off the floor and then come back down. So notice the difference between using my abs to lift up to do the crunch versus grabbing the head and just doing this motion, right? I have literally no core engagement when I do that. So when I pull my elbows out, it helps me to remember that it's not my hands doing the exercise. It's my abs that are lifting myself up and then slowly come back down. You almost want to think as if there's a string attached to your chest and you're being pulled straight up versus down. So notice the difference between crunching this way and crunching this way. You're going to get so much more uh, of a great workout when you focus on lifting up versus forward. So that's essentially what you want to do. You want to pretend that those hands are simply a pillow to support your neck and your hands are not doing any pulling whatsoever. So that's how to do a proper crunch. As far as a sit up goes, it's definitely going to be more challenging. So depending on your fitness level, you might want to uh, put your feet and, and cover, uh, get them under a chair or a couch or a bed so that you can lift yourself up many different options on how to do this. So it does require a lot of core strength. Probably the most basic option is just bringing those hands forward, gives you a little bit more leverage to lift yourself all the way up, coming up to a nice uh, tall posture here and then rounding the spine on the way down. So lifting yourself up, you can exhale on your sit up and then inhale on the way down. Another option is you can cross those hands in front of your chest to lift yourself up 
And then probably the most advanced one is again, bringing those elbows wide and then lifting yourself all the way up and then coming back down. But notice that there was no pulling whatsoever. So hopefully this quick dim demo has helped you to learn how to do a proper crunch so that you don't have any neck pain in the future. Thank you so much for watching today. If you thought this video was helpful, please go ahead and like and comment below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I am hosting live workouts every single weekday. So definitely hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I go live and share a free workout. Without further ado, if you need more fitness tips or ideas or workout inspiration, definitely check out this video here and I will see you on the next one.